My name is Paul Gauci. I've been a gardener for 55 years, and I've done, you know, we wore out shovels as kids with spading. I've done tilling, done all that stuff. And it's so amazing now, my little tools are rake, and it's just so easy and so simple, and the production is so superior to what I ever had. You know, the thing that I really appreciate, you know, I love God because he's just, he doesn't miss anything. He gave me, I have two properties that I'm doing this on. One, this one here, the ground is clay and rock. It would be impossible to farm. It would be considered, from the agricultural point of view, as marginal soil. The other place I have is 80% rock, totally gravel pit. You couldn't possibly till it. You couldn't possibly cultivate it. And in both of those places, I'm experiencing the most incredible, beautiful gardens. And what I love about God is that he is not challenged by anything. He is God. And clay and rock and rock do not concern him. He just has the capacity to turn it all around. And one thing I love about, I love that scripture where it says, as we behold the Lord, we're being changed from glory to glory. And I find that anything that comes in contact with God gets changed, including clay and rock and rock. And I love that. It's just such a beautiful illustration of who he is, you know. And I just, it's just so awesome to take people and, and, and take them back and show them my incredible ground. You can't even break with a pick and walk on this stuff. It's totally buoyant. Everything's just growing great, you know. And, and I didn't do anything. I just put the cover down and God does it all, you know. So whatever you have to cover the ground with, any organic material, and if you don't have any but rocks, it all works. It's all about covering. And if you get it covered, believe me, God will do the rest and you'll be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm just, I'm so blessed by that, you know, that word Jesus says, Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And he uses an interesting term. He says, Take my yoke upon you and come learn of me. Now, what did they use the yoke for? They used that to hook up the oxen to break up the ground. And Jesus is saying, I don't do things like you. Come follow me around and watch what I do. My yoke's easy, my burden's light. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen anything like this in your life? Nope. I don't like it. These blueberries are really, really good. Mm. It's just, and see, listen, everything that God created, I believe, is sweet. Very sweet. It's, it's, it's very growing. sweet. You know, when it's growing in soil that has minerals. This, this is key. Things that grow fast are sweet and tender. Things that grow slow are tough and bitter. And I tell you, I've come to the place where I don't do anything anymore without asking God. It's just, he is so amazing and he's just such an incredible resource. And I find that he really loves talking to us. He loves to share. He's an incredible artist. He's very proud of his, his artwork and he loves to talk about it. And I just get so blessed, you know, to, to be part of it and just feel, you know, so thankful that I can, I can share with other people, you know. And like I was just sharing the other day, is that I, you know, so I get people coming here through the summer at least, you know, two, three times a week. Groups anywhere from one to, there's been as many as, you know, 430 out here. And I just feel like a piece of PVC pipe with water going through it. I'm just a channel. I, I don't do anything. I just you know, hear from God and just transfer it, you know, kind of thing. And it's just a blessing to just, just to be that, you know. And, and, and uh, I think it's, you know, our, pur our purpose and privilege, you know, I love First John where it says, as Jesus is, so are we to be in the world. And Jesus came to reveal the Father, to, show, to show, show who God was. And that's our purpose. That's what we're here to be, light and salt. And it's just, you know, I feel really blessed to have the opportunity to share.